Hi there, my name's Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm talking about getting my sheets together. Yes, I said sheets. <laughs> so this is a company called Sheetminder that I met at SummerNAM last year. Sorry for the long delay, guys, but um, I got a few things I'm working on today to catch up with. This is a cardboard folder. I'm not really doing a very good sales pitch so far, am I? But I think it's kind of cool and I'll tell you why. Before we get to the product, do you read scores? Do you read sheet music? And a good um, discussion to have below in the comment section would be, do you need to read sheet music anymore? You see, growing up, I played the piano and I had to learn, my, my teacher didn't really teach me by ear at all. I had to learn everything from music like this. And I'm glad I did. I have to say now I don't really use that skill. And I actually feel that the ear is a much more important um, thing to, to, to develop. I mean, I think they're both important because I still do um, purchase this, as you can see. It's nice to be able to read the music and the chords and someone else has done it. And I find that usually the sheet music like this is done more accurately than the chords on, 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 on the internet in general. Now, that's not always the case, which again is why it's important to have both skills. Uh, so yeah, I do believe the ear is the most important skill of all. But it's also a nice thing to be able to read sheet music still, I, I feel. And especially if you're playing classical music, of course, because would you really want to sit down and, and work out by ear a classical piece? Would you really want to do that? I mean, with a pop song or a jazz song, maybe it's different, right? Because it, the melody of a, of a pop song is much more simple, usually, in general. I'm generalizing here. But I do still occasionally buy sheet music. So where I used to buy the books um, when I was a kid and I had these shelves of books everywhere, much like with our books that we read, now you can buy it on an iPad or and digitally. So I bought this digitally, okay? So the problem with, with digital is that the iPad screen is usually around 9.7 inches or smaller. And on a, on a cell phone, I mean, forget it. The optimal size for sheet music, in my opinion, still is this A4 letter size paper, okay? So yeah, you can now buy what, an iPad Pro? 1200, 1500, $2,000. If you're playing all the time from sheet music, and you could even then and transpose it, things like that, maybe that's worth it. But I don't think it's worth it buying an iPad like that just for say four or five pieces of music once a year. So what do you do? You buy it, you print it out, and it comes like this. So this is, this is several sheets of paper, and it's not protected. And also, if you try and put this on a music stand to read it, it's, it's more than likely going to blow away and, and get lost and mixed up and, conf and you know, jumbled up with other music in the wrong order. Blah, blah, blah. So how do you look after it? I have, I have to admit, all mine is kind of in a pile and I just deal with that issue. But Sheetminder have come up with a, a way to, to organize it. So let's cut straight to the chase. It is a cardboard folder with some sticky tape in it. But it's really, really rather clever, which is why I want to take this sample. So this is the sample, as you can see. Yours wouldn't look like this, but it's got this uh, thing to write on the front with your name, the piece, the part, and the date, so you can keep your music organized. When you open it up, every page is the same on the back too. The reason for that is they don't know how many sheets you'll have in your piece of music. You may just have one, which would be a shame because then you're, oh no, actually, because you can reuse it, right? And you, oh yeah, the, yeah, okay, great. So this would actually do, for a single lead sheet, this would do one, two, three, four, five songs. Great, because they're all the same. Just They're, they're perforated, um, so you can tear them off if you need to. Very clever. Of course, if your piece of music is two or, or three or four pieces of paper, then you can use two, three or four. So you, what we do is you would peel the tape, stick that one in there, stick that one there, that's page two. And if it's just two, you would then, oh, see, I just dropped it. There you go. Like I said, hard to hang on to pieces of loose paper. So if it was just two, you'd put the two in there and then peel, um, tear it away here. And then you've got another book to use for one, two or three. So actually, yeah, this, it's not like you buy one and it's wasted. This will do um, up to five single songs, lead sheets, or a song which is five pages long. So that's great. Um, I noticed on their website, they're also doing a songbook. So if you've got, say, 10 songs that are part of a collection, you can have one book with tabs in it and put them all into one. So you've basically got one 
collection of songs all in the same place. I think it's great. I think it's, a, it's, it's something that I like, which is a, a solution to a modern day problem. So this, this wasn't a problem years ago. Now it's not always a problem because we have the iPad and, we, and digital music and, and YouTube videos and people not even reading music. Again, this is aimed more at the classical musician or, you know, potentially. So kind of a niche problem solver, but I think, I think there's still a big enough market there for them to do it and that's why they are doing it. So yeah, I would certainly get some and I don't need that many. I've only got a few pieces of music. I'll keep them nice in the folder. They won't get lost. They won't get damaged. Um, or if I'm doing something in the future, I need to do a score again, I would do it so I can easily stand it up and read it. Um, even just to stand up in front of my computer seems, seems ideal for that. So yeah, the Sheepminder, check it out on their website. And if you like my video, please uh, like, comment and subscribe. Let me know, do you read music, do you have sheet music? And do you feel it's still an important skill to have? So until next time, stay tuned, please subscribe and keep playing. Thank you. Bye-bye.